Good morning, everybody. This is Deborah. Thank you so much for taking a little time to spend with me here on my channel, Kensington Cross Stitch. Uh, normally, this is a cross stitch channel. We talk all about that craft, occasionally a few others. Um, but today, we're doing something a little bit different. This is the last of three kit parades that I have been offering. Uh, the first two focused on cross stitch kit parades. One is commercial kits, the second one is projects that I have kitted up for myself. And then this one is going to be other crafts, things that I am interested in, either that I have done before and want to do more or things that I want to try out for the first time that are not necessarily cross stitch. Um, so I wanted to show those off. So if you're joining me from somewhere else in the internet world uh, and you came here because you're interested in embroidery or wool crafts, welcome. I hope you enjoy what we're seeing today and hopefully you'll see some things that you haven't seen before that inspire you. Uh, and for those of you who are cross stitchers, I hope that you also enjoy again or maybe inspired or maybe some of these things are hobbies that you also do in addition to your cross stitch uh, hobby. So I would love to hear in the comments what brought you here, what uh, you particularly enjoyed about what we showed, uh, and anything that you're excited or that you're already working on. So again, thank you, uh, and I hope that you enjoy. And just to give you a little bit of a heads up, um, kind of what we're going to be looking at today, I have some uh, wool mixed felt, I have some needle felting, I have a fair amount of embroidery, that's probably the one I have the most of, uh, as well as a few other hobbies that I maybe just have one of, uh, and we'll be working from there. So again, thank you again uh, for joining me and we'll get started. So the first couple of kits that I want to show you are all by the same designer and it, it's, it is Corinne LaPierre. She is out of the UK uh, and she does these small wool felt craft kits. Um, I've seen these a number of different places before. Um, the two smallest ones that I'm going to show you first, I found these in a quilting store not too far from me. I've also bought them from the French Needle online. I've seen them on Etsy, so I think they're pretty readily available, uh, at least I'm assuming certainly in, the Br in Britain um, and then in the U.S. as well. But this one is, as you can see, uh, he's called Professor Hare Stargazer. I love that. He is just the sweetest little hair, kind of look into the stars, holding his telescope. Um, I have not done any wool mixed felt. I guess that's kind of the official name of this one, but I haven't done any. I saw a couple of her kits and that was what caught my eye. Uh, and I've collected a few, haven't started yet, and I'm deciding which one I want to start with first because I do think there are some that are more advanced than the others, but I've at least collected a couple at this point. So this is Professor Hare Stargazer. Another one that I have by her is also a very small one. And this just, he was adorable. Sam the Seagull. He was just so cute with his little, little fish and his little hat. Uh, and I thought he would be another really good one to um, try out for her crafts. So that is Sam the Seagull. And then these are actually the ones that I, ri I bought originally, the ones that caught my eye. I purchased these off of the French Needle last winter or kind of last fall I think uh, and so these are kind of a couple of larger kits. This one is folk birds and it comes with five different um, folk art birds that you can make uh, and it does come with full pieces of felt that you cut out. You do the embroidery and the stitching on it, put them together. So that was one that I saw and really enjoyed from her. And the other one that I saw, this is a full set um, and I bought it. It was definitely a splurge for me and one to work up to. Um, but I believe that these are all available individually as well. And this is the 12 days of Christmas. So there is one motif for each of the 12 days of Christmas. Let's see if it's focusing there. Uh, and so that one is definitely one that I'm going to be, I think, working my way up to. So I think I'll probably start with some of the smaller ones. The birds actually might be the easiest one to start with. Work on those, do a couple of the, the hair and the seagull, and then work on these. But I just thought those were really beautiful kits. They are, um, they come with very quality products, um, lots of instructions, everything that you need to make these. Um, and I'm seeing them more and more than I was even when I looked at them just a year ago. So if you're interested, that is Corinne LaPierre, and that is Wool Felt Craft. So that is the first um, set of um, 
craft that I have that I have been interested in trying and I want to get started with. The next one is um, my set of embroidery patterns. Now I have done a little bit of embroidery in the past, some of them fairly basic. I've done one cruel embroidery, um, which is slightly, there are several different kinds of embroidery of course, so I did do one cruel embroidery set that's hanging up in my craft room, one of my favorite pieces, um, but there are some really beautiful uh, embroidery kits out there and patterns and I wanted to b build that up. It's a slightly different hobby than cross stitch of course. There's a little more freeform work in terms of maybe the stitches that you use or the colors that you choose, uh, some things like that. Of course you can you can do a lot of that in your cross stitch as well but um, I've been kind of building up a little bit of a supply of, of embroidery patterns because I want to um, spend some time focusing on this as a craft, not necessarily to not in any way to replace my cross stitch, um, but something I could do that is slightly different, but often uses similar supplies. So I've been kind of working up to that. And I will say the reason that I kind of went on this tangent and I've been buying some things is I saw a really beautiful pattern on Etsy and it is the pattern that I want to make, but I'm not, my skills are not quite up to it yet. And so I wanted to do some others to work my way up, refamiliarize myself with the craft so that I can then do this one in the end. So this is the one that I am interested in and it is an Anne of Green Gables pattern. It's not, fo it's kind of a bit of a glare right now. Sorry about that. But it's um, Anne standing with her back to us so we can see her braid of her hair and then some beautiful cherry blossom um, pieces. So that one is one, that's, that's what I am working up toward and I want to have that piece done. But while I'm getting there, I've picked up a couple. Uh, and then of course, of course, as always, seen some other things that I needed to buy as well. So that's what's brought me to embroidery. So the first one I want to show you, I think I picked this up in kind of a multi-purpose craft shop, quilting, some things like that. Uh, and this is Penguin and Fish jellyfish and I thought he's just so cute his little smile floating through the ocean um, and that one uses just a couple of very basic embroidery stitches um, and so that one I think will be a very good place to start um, and get started with that kind of re-upping my skills and familiarizing myself with the process so that one is jellyfish um, one is a book that I got from I forget which, but one of the embroidery uh, magazines out of the UK that you buy and it comes every month comes with a full set. And this one is just an easy kind of a modern Scandinavian style, I would say. Christmas piece and it's merry and bright. And again, it comes with everything, including the, the pink hoop. So that one will be just another easy one. It has a couple of different stitches than the uh, jellyfish. So I think that would be a good progression to make with that uh, set as well. This is another one. I actually picked this one up very recently at Joanne and it has a printed background that you then stitch on top of. I, I've i seen this one there a couple of times. I've hesitated to buy it um, in part because the, the cover image is very pixelated, but I find that the actual printed piece is, is much more kind of realistic looking and so I think it'll be fine. So that one is just a cute one that I saw and hey, it was on clearance, so why not? Uh, this is one from the B Company that I've actually had for quite a number of years. I picked this up at a quilt show probably 10 years ago. It's a very simple piece, but it comes with some of their classic wooden buttons. Uh, and it is a just a primitive Christmas tree. And it comes with the kind of ribbon and the pattern, uh, the uh, fabric that you need. The pattern and then each of the buttons as well so those will get attached so that is primitive christmas tree by the bee company that one i think will be an easy stitch as well this next one um i'm going to show you kind of cover up a little bit of it and it's this huga cat um and he's just kind of curled up there in the flowers doing some relaxation and i thought he was really cute i got this one at on etsy um, and it is Huga Rituals Handmade is the designer or the, the shop. Uh, and then just so you can see, it comes with a printed pattern. And it's that little cat in the flowers. And uh, it does come with all of the floss. It's a very kind of fall palette, uh, at least when you're looking at it. I might, 
I might change a few of the colors because that's not really my necessarily my specific color scheme and that would be it's just regular embroidery floss so that would be easy to flip to switch but we'll see I think it's just a really cute little pattern of that cat uh, kind of just relaxing a little bit so that one is something I found on Etsy the next one is from Kmar uh, and this is one I believe it, she is, uh, they do sell on Etsy, and this is a beautiful snowy night winter scene. I believe that I bought this again off of the French Needle. I'll link to that down below, but um, it is also something that you can find on Etsy. And that is, I think it's just a really simple, beautiful piece. Um, kind of a, not, not quite monochrome, of course, but very muted palette of colors. And I think that one is beautiful. So that is from Tamar, and it comes with everything beautifully wrapped up. This next one is also one that I bought on Etsy and unfortunately I don't have a cover image of it um, but it is a Christmas market. Um, those of you who watch my regular cross stitch know that I'm working on a cross stitch Christmas market uh, and this is an embroidery version and so it's got some really fun um, uh, kind of some shiny pieces. It's got the beautiful a uh, palette of DMC floss. It comes with the hoop, of course, some backing fabric. It's a complete kit, of course. So that one is one that I thought, well, if I'm making a cross stitch uh, Christmas market, I should make a, you know, um, an embroidery cross stitch market, one, um, an embroidery one as well. So it is a, it's one of the patterns that you actually adhere it to your fabric, you stitch. And then I think that you either I think that you remove the the pieces that you don't actually stitch over is how it works. Um, but that one will be really cute. And I know that she has a number of other seasonal designs, kind of this similar shape, but a lot of other ones as well. So that one I will link to down below um, in the description box. This next one is one that is a Panna kit. They do um, cross stitch, of course, but this is one that is ribbon embroidery. I thought this one was just a really beautiful kind of a, um, collection of drying flowers. So this one I'm pretty sure I bought on um, Amazon. You can find Banna on a number of other places, but that one is ribbon embroidery, so slightly different tack on that one. Uh, this is one that I put, I, I bought at Joanne, and it was it's a Busilla kit, and this is one where you can actually cross stitch the entire country, and if you can see there's a little kind of path that you follow that shows a road trip. There is also a pattern for each of the individual states. Um, I have long had the idea of wanting to essentially do something like this that shows the routes that we took for all of the family vacations when I was growing up. Our family vacations were often pack up the minivan as full as you can stuff it and just go off and visit different parts of the country. Uh, we did a little bit in Canada, but mostly the United States. And my brother, who actually has a really good memory for this kind of things, remembers when we went on each of these trips and what we what routes we took um and so i was thinking i would love to do one piece that just shows all of those in one place um, i'm still looking for the perfect backdrop because of like i said some of those trips included canada um, but i saw this and i thought i'm gonna pick this one up just in case as a as an option um, but it's one that i have and it comes with some specific colors i'd probably swap swap those out um, but an option for something that I'm thinking about and uh, potentially still looking for some some other option on that but really cute little kit and I like that it comes with each of the individual states as well the next one I have is something that I bought from uh, barefoot patterns and this is a tea towel and it is a thankful it's a Thanksgiving one and so it comes I believe it is I believe it's printed um, on the tea towel and it comes with everything that you need. It's just a beautiful Thanksgiving kind of fall themed one. So that's one that I'm looking forward to working on. And then my last embroidery pattern is one that I bought. I think I also bought this one on the French Needle. And this is, I can never say that word correctly. It's the nesting dolls. Uh, and this is a boho Christmas and it's just got... Um, 
I always, my microphone's over here, so I always try and swap that one. Um, and it's just that little bow with uh, various different Christmas things. So the, the dried oranges and a few other decorations. So that one, um, not an overly complicated pattern, but it includes some of the additional stitches that I think will be a good interim step as I'm working up to some of these more difficult ones. So that is Boho Christmas um, by Yulia Anderson. And that is my embroidery patterns. And then the next one, this kind of takes us into the miscellaneous everything else that we've got that we could potentially work on. So I do have two needle felting kits. This is something that has become fairly popular in the last couple of years. Um, a friend had told me what she'd gotten into it, was uh, recommending it to me. And so it's been on my short list of hobbies that I would like to try to see if I like it. Um, I did in one of my, you know, scrolling through Etsy on an evening doing not, not actually crafting, just buying crafts. I found a really cute um, set and I thought, oh, this is going to, I actually thought I was buying the final product. And when it came, it was a kit. I was like, well, I guess that's decides this one. I got to learn how to needle felt so I can actually have that. Uh, and so that one is this sheep pouch and it's by Bear Creek Felting. I mean, look at that. It's just a little kind of coin purse or something else for keeping small item. It's got those little sheep on it. Um, like I said, I thought I was buying the full, the full pouch pre-made. Not so much, but um, really one that I do want to have. But I decided, considering how much I love it, I don't want to make this my first uh, practice. Cra or my first practice effort at this. So I've been kind of keeping an eye out for another one that I could learn on. It does say beginner. That may be true. I may discover that this is totally a beginner project, but just in case I wanted to try something else as my first project. So that one's been sitting there as I've been waiting to find something else. And just last weekend, I found one. And it is Floral Mouse in a Hoop. And I like that it says beginner, easy peasy. So hopefully that's something that I can actually manage, but just a cute little mouse with a floral headdress. So how can you not want to make that? It's just so pre precious. So what I think is this is the one that I will use as my practice, and then I will go on and work on the pouch. So those are my two needle felting um, kits that I have. Coffee break. This next one is one that I have, um, is a very different kind of hobby uh, or craft, but one that I picked up a number of years ago in Nashville, and it's a company called One Man, One Garage. And those of you who are familiar with Chantel 141 and all of the kind of cross-stitch backing pieces that she's doing will be familiar with. This is laser cut wood that you um, punch out and assemble into something. And this is a tea box and cookie jar. The picture is pretty small, but really cute little thing and you can just slide your tea bags in there and you can keep some cookies in the top and it is all of the pieces that you need that have already been done with some beautiful kind of um design and scroll work on this and so one that i need to put together i when i bought it i um they had a model there that was fully painted um, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. That was what sold me on it. And I will admit, I don't think that I'm good enough of an intricate painter to do that. So I think I will probably just put it together as the plain wood. Um, I might sand it, but I think I may just leave it like this. Uh, really beautiful. And it's something that I would like to actually be able to get out and use. You'll notice that it is open. I've pulled one of the pieces out and I need to find, I need to find it. Um, but it was before I got a needle, a floss winder, this was almost exactly the right distance. And so I used it as my floss winder for quite some time, but, um, it is somewhere, but I do want to put that together. And this shop, I double checked, they are in business. Uh, you can go to one man, one garage, Dot com, uh, and they have a whole bunch of different ones that you can uh, take a look at. So that's going to be something just a little bit different than some of these other hobbies. I also pretty much on the spur of the moment recently, also in one of those, I'm just sitting on my couch shopping kind of things, bought a paint by number set. Uh, they have also become very popular again, I've discovered in recent years. And so I saw one that was just really fun. 
and it is um, a set of books um, just kind of bound together with a flower. I thought that was really lovely and I ordered it uh, and then it came and it's quite large. It's very large so not quite I was expecting something a little bit smaller um, but that one I thought is going to be just an opportunity to test it out see play with some really fun colors I thought those were really beautiful colors uh, and of course it's books so who doesn't love that so that's one we may pull out um, it's all folded up so which I was not expecting but I I don't know if I should like get stretcher bars and actually mount it so I have something kind of stiffer to be painting it on. I have no idea. If you have any tips, let me know because I, I have not done paint my numbers since, you know, elementary school when it was very different. So let me know. Uh, just a few others to show you. We are kind of heading to the end of this. Um, one is something that I actually bought or I received as part of a, I think it was a mystery box of some kind. And this is an Amy Brucken cross stitch pattern. Um, Cute. Not what I'm going to stitch, but it also comes with the supplies for these three little felt gingerbread men. And that one I think I would do. Again, just something really easy uh, to stitch and it comes with all of the things that you need. So that's one I'll probably pull out some afternoon and just put those together toward Christmas time. Uh, one that I've also shown on a recent cross stitch episode is not cross stitch, but bead embroidery. And this is from Abris. I bought this off of Etsy. I know you can find it in a num number of other places, I assume on their website, um, but hot air balloons and everything. It's um, a printed background and all you do is stitch on all of the beads. So that one is one we're gonna be working up to as well, but I thought it was just beautiful. And this is Into the Sky by Abris Arts. Art. Um, two more to show you. One is again something I picked up a number of years ago uh, and every winter I'm like I really need to actually do that and I don't know what's stopping me. I think I have to trace some things on freezer paper. Not at all difficult but that apparently is enough to make me stop working on it. So who knows. Anyway this is Snowballs by Bunny Hill Designs and it's just this tiny little um, applique wool um, pillow and it's just a decorative pillow it comes with everything that you need full instructions uh, and go from there so that one is absolutely something I need to just pull out and do I think it would be really cute and every time I see it those those snowmen are just adorable so that's snowballs by Bunny Hill Designs and then the last one is also one that I bought off of Amazon um, again thinking I was buying a final product and nope so hey let's learn a new craft uh, and these are little coin pouch kits. There's actually two full kits. Uh, and they're just cute little things that have cat patterns on them. Because if you've been to this channel before, you know that I have a slight thing about cats. Uh, and so I had a couple of different patterns that had cats on them. So uh, a couple of coin purses, things that you can keep, craft supplies, anything in. So that's another one that I think will just be really fun. Comes with full everything that you need. So that quick video just a couple about 20 minutes but um those are just a couple of different types of kits that i have been collecting to help me stray from cross stitch whenever i am in the mood for that uh, and hopefully you'll be seeing some of those completed projects in upcoming videos i hope that you had a wonderful time watching you saw some things that you are interested in yourself please do let me know if any of these struck your interest if you've done any of these crafts before what you thought of them how they compare to cross stitch any of those things. So with that, I will say thank you, enjoy, and we'll chat again soon. Bye, everybody.